as you can see in front of you got this record is valid for birth only state of Louisiana certificate of live birth your birth certificate was made into a bond it's worth millions although it does say billions this is American version the same applies to ours and they've been ripping us off forever aspartame side effects decreased vision headaches migraine epileptic seizures severe depression irritability phobias severe PMS hypoactivity in children multiple sclerosis MS chronic fatigue syndrome fibromyalgia birth defects including mental retardation diet anything zero sugar they are all poison they is it that is a massive part of the depopulation plan they plan to make us so dumb we can't even think anymore and unfortunately that seems to be happening to a lot of people and men and women as well all right water has a memory if you look at the different types that's thank you that's wisdom truth eternal angel I love you peace you fool you make me sick evil polluted water before prayer polluted water after prayer Japanese scientist Dr. Masuro Emoto scientifically proved through de decades of research that the molecule structure of water can be altered with human interactions and emotions simply by saying certain words or phrases at droplets of water and freezing them the difference in crystalline structure is astounding keep in mind our bodies are 60 to 70 percent water meaning our thoughts can positively or negatively affect the, our entire body <clears throat> hospital bed cutbacks have gone too far NHS England bosses say Policy has left hospitals unable to cope with rising patient numbers, Simon Stevens says. Shutting beds has left hospitals unable to cope with the growing number of patients needing care and need to, needs to stop, the head of the NHS has admitted. In a surprise U-turn, Simon Stevens, Chief Executive of NHS England, Chief Executive, which means NHS England is a corporation because you only have a Chief Executive of a corporation. <coughs> said the policy had gone too far and that hospital beds had become overly pressurized as a result of years of closures the number of beds in nhs hospitals and other facilities has fallen from 144,455 in april to june 10 to 129,992 in january to march 18 a cut of 14,467 or 10 percent of the total Stevens said he wants hospitals to increase their supply of acute and general medical beds. But this is what government Britain looks like. President Dutut kicks Rothschilds out of the Philippines. President Dutu has vowed to eradicate all traces of Rothschild financial criminality from the Philippines announcing that he will no longer respond to pressure or financial blackmail from the US government or Rothschild controlled global banking institutes the president who claims to have killed cartel bosses with his own hands is not one of the book to be bullied and he has now set his sights on clearing up the financial corruption in his country whereas in the UK it's carrying on as normal because it's all controlled by the Rothschild <clears throat> promising to drive them out of the scavengers they are before Rodrigo Duterte assumed the office of president the Philippines was suffering from uh, the effects of IMF World Bank imposed austerity and privatization that exploited its people and resources it was also one of Asia's most corrupt and troubled nations through the Filipino people, though strong showing of popular resistance over a period of years, we're able to curb some of the most rampant crony corruption. Many of the shackles imposed by the, these Rothschild-controlled institutions remained. President Duterte rode into power campaigning on a ticket of major chains, but unlike Western politicians, 
or liars as they're better known, who pay lip service to change before letting down the supporters every single time. The Philippines president has delivered on his promise in spades. During the election campaign, Duchu urged the people to kill him if he fought fa failed to resolve crime and corruption in the country during the first six months of his term. Now imagine that in this country. If Theresa May says, kill me in six months if I haven't f fulfilled all my promises, she'd be dead. And so will whoever the next one is. So, hmm. Uh, one year, over one year into the term, and he has de delivered on his promises. He's now famous for more than calling President Obama a son of a whore at a re uh, regional summit in Laos last year. Much of the Rothschild-controlled international community outrage, Goethe is shooting from the hip and clearing up his country. In 2016, after warning those involved in the na narcotics trade that it's either you kill me or I, or I kill you. An astonishing 1,007,153 narcotics criminals surrendered to government aid and 73 government officials were arrested for involvement in the illegal drug trade. A president, someone in charge who actually does what they say. Very, very rare these days because the rest of the in the West are just lying in it for themselves, bastards, as we know. UK freezes millions in aid to Zambia amid allegations of fraud and looting. While in the UK, the fraud and looting continues by the government. Britain, and oh, what could we do with that money that they've frozen? Oh, I know, we could home the homeless and feed the hungry. Yeah, that's never going to happen, not with these bunch of criminals involved. Britain has frozen its entire funding programme to Zambia amid allegations that state officials have looted millions of pounds of aid to set up shell companies and buy expensive cars. The Department of International Development has also demanded a forensic audit of Zambia's government spending after evidence emerged suggesting aid had been embezzled on a significant scale since 2012. While well, here in the UK it just continues. Researchers say there is a simple way to reduce suicides. Increase the minimum wage. But then, then people might be able to afford to live. They'll never do that, will they? Not while we've got a bunch of crooks in charge, no. Since 2000, the suicide rate in the United States has risen 35%, primarily because of the significant increase in such deaths among the white population. There are hints that these deaths are the result of worsening prospects among less educated people, but there are few immediate answers. But maybe the solution is simple. Pursue policies that improve the prospects of working class Americans. But that would mean they might be able to eat, afford to eat themselves and uh, eat their home. They're never going to be allowed now, are they? Research, just like in this country, researchers have found that when the minimum wage in a state increased, or when states bought, boosted a tax credit for working families, the suicide rate decreased. Raising the minimum wage and the, the earn, earned income tax credit by 10% each could prevent about 1,230 suicides annually, according to a working paper circulated by the National Bureau of Economic Research it, it, this week. So our suicide spiked in the month after Netflix released 13 Reasons Why Study Finds. The EITC has designed, was designed to boost the wages of low-income workers, particularly families with ch children. Many states have supplemented or expanded the credit. Raising the minimum wage and increasing the tax credit help less educated low-wage workers who have been hit hardest by what are now known as death of despair. And that happens in this country because they brought in the bedroom tax and the only ones that they target with the bedroom tax is those on benefits. And those entitlements are what the government says the minimum you need to live on. Then they go and tax it back off you. That's how corrupt the UK is. Jeremy Cunt wants poor Brits to work like the Chinese in new insult piled on tax credit cuts. The health secretary claims low paid workers lack dignity and self-respect at the Conservatives slash tax credits. 
Jeremy Gunt has de demanded millions of poor people facing tax credit cuts work harder. This is by a bloke that's never done a single day's real work in his life. He said the lower paid lack dignity and yeah, his comments declaring struggling workers should have their tax credits axed and be made to graft harder betrayed the true Tory contempt for hard up bricks. The wealth help wealthy health secretary who worth an estimated 4.8 million stepped up the conservative war on the poor when he suggested unpaid staff lack dignity and self-respect despite being trapped in a poverty his party helped create fellow tories disgusted by the assault on tax credits yeah how you believe that you believe anything which will leave more than three million families 1300 a year worse off are joining the growing protests I don't, if you've seen any protests, I haven't either. But Mr. <laughs> said that those losing the cash should take their lead from workers in China who put in punishing hours. Union Chief Len McCluskey said this is disgrace, a disgraceful insult by a piece of shit. And it is. Israel says it wants war with Iran and is meeting with Arab countries to advance it. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has expressed his desire to go to war with Iran and said he was meeting with dozens of foreign envoys, including those from the Arab world, in order to push the initiative forward. He wants to start World War III. The United States has rallied countries from across the world, especially from Europe and the Middle East, to attend this summit in Warsaw in a bid for to form a united front against revolutionary Shiite Muslim Iran, who have never invaded the country in their history. Hmm. And yet he, he, the USA seems to invade one every year or every other year. In a video posted Wednesday to the office as Twitter account, Netanyahu said he had just had an excellent meeting in Polish capital with a man's foreign minister with whom he d discussed a di additional steps we can take together with this country's on the region in the other order to advance common interests he means world war three from here i'm going to meet with 60 foreign ministers and envoys of countries from around the world against iran the israel head israeli head of state continued according to the accounts english language translation of his hebrew remarks we need rid of these Zionist bastards who are hell-bent on trying to cause, if they can, World War Three. Goldman Sachs asks in biotech research report, is curing patients a sustainable business model? Goldman Sachs analysts attempt to address a touchy subject for biotech companies, especially those involved in the pioneering gene therapy treatment. Cures could be a bad bit for business in the long term. Is curing patients a sustainable business model? Analysts ask in a 10th of April report entitled The Genome Revolution. The potential to deliver one-shot cures is one of the most attractive aspects of gene therapy, genetically engineered cell therapy and gene editing. However, such treatments often a very diff different outlook with regard to re re recurring revenue venues chronic therapies analyst Sal salvin richter wrote in the note to cl clients that tuesday while this prospect carries tremendous value for patients and society it could represent a challenge for genome medicine developers looking for sustained cash flow in other words all you are a cash cows that they milk until you're dead. Goldman Sachs, part of the Rothschilds criminal empire. We found 85,000 cops who have been investigators for misconduct. Now you can read their records. USA Today is leading a national effort to obtain and publish a disciplinary and misconduct records for thousands of police officers. At least 85,000 law enforcement officers across the USA have been investigated or disciplined for misconduct over the past decade, an investigation by USA Today Network found. Officers have beaten 
Members of the public planted evidence and used their badges to harass women. They have lied, stolen, dealt dr drugs, driven drunk and abused their spouses. Despite this role as a public servant, the men and women who swear an oath to keep communities safe can generally avoid public scrutiny for their mis misdeeds. The records of the, their misconduct are filed away, rarely ever seen by anyone outside their departments. Police unions and their political allies have worked to put special protections in pl place ensuring some records are shielded from public view or even destroyed. Reporters for USA Today, its 100 plus affiliate newsrooms and the non-profit Invisible Institute in Chicago has spent more than a year creating the biggest collection of police misconduct records obtained from thousands of state agencies, protect, pr prosecutors, police departments and sheriffs. The record details at least 200,000 incidents of alleged misconduct, much of it previously unreported. The records obtained include more than 110,000 internal affairs investigations by hundreds of individual departments and more than 30,000 officers who were decertified by 44 state oversight agencies. As usual, links in description if you want to read the rest. Warning, terrifying picture approaching. Department for Work and Pensions has outraged targets, outrageous target to reject 80% of entitlement appeals. Hidden mandatory re reconsideration performance indicator criticised by Parkinson's charity and former judge. The Department for Work and Pensions, or the de Department for Depopulation, has been accused of setting an outrageous target that staff should turn down four out of five benefit appeals. The department's response to a freedom of information request revealed that conducting mandatory reconsideration reviews were held to a key performance indicator that said 80% of the tr original decisions are to be upheld. Mass murder by the government. That is what this is saying is okay. Johnson & Johnson faces multi-billion opioids lawsuit that could upend Big Pharma. Oklahoma is holding a, the drug giant with the family-friendly image responsible for its addictive epidemic. Day after day, the memos flashing across screens in Oklahoma courtroom have jarred with the family-friendly public image of Johnson & Johnson, the pharmaceutical giant best known for baby powder and Band-Aid. In one miss missive, a sales representative dismissed the doctor's fears that patients might become addicted to the company's opioid painkillers by telling him those who didn't die probably wouldn't get hooked. Another per... <laughs> Did you... I'll just read that again. Those who didn't die probably wouldn't get hooked. Another proposes targeting sales of the powerful addictive drug at those most at risk, men under 40. At the state of Oklahoma's multi-billion dollar lawsuit against Johnson & Johnson has unfolded over the past month, the company has struggled to explain marketing strategies it accused, say, dangerously misrepresented. Link in the description again. 5G resistance, concerns grows over European rollout. Resistance to 5G is rapidly increasing, especially in Europe where many are unwilling to roll over for a 5G rollout. Fifth generation wireless threatens to massively increase electromagnetic radiation affecting people in the, on the planet. On March 31st, Brussels, Belgium, became the first major city to stop a 5G pilot project because of health concerns, refusing to increase allowable radiation limits. Céline Fermelt, Environment Minister for the Brussels Capital Region, told the press, I cannot welcome such technology if the radiation standards, which must protect the citizens, are not respected, 5G or not. The people of Brussels are not guinea pigs whose health I can sell at a profit. Meanwhile, in the UK, they're rolling it out everywhere because they want us dead. We are run by the biggest satanic evil bastards in Parliament ever. A scientific NGO called the Planetary Association for Clean Energy 
which has special consultative status at the United Nations Economic and Social Council submitted a statement to the UN. Metro. Come clean, Boris. Hunt challenges rival over 999 call out to lover's flat. Well, one thing we're sure, he's a mass murderer. He's not quite a mass murderer yet, but when he gets in, he will be. Trump to bring in new Iran sanctions. World War Three. that's what they're trying to cause. 60 seconds with Jungle Star Emily. Really? Why? Why would you want see why would you want any time with them? Idiots. The Times. Johnson is a coward, says Hunt, who's a murderer. Let's not forget that. Front runner under pressure after girlfriend Rao. Women make up make giant lead, but there's no space for men. And the Andy Murray or whatever. Electric car penalty. Electric cars cost an average of 14% more to insure than petrol. See, the, the thieving offers every possible way they can. Legal aid denied. Families of victims killed in the London Bridge. Uh, government terrorist attack have been denied legal aid. Drinking and drug toll. A number of people dying from drinking and alcohol misuse has almost doubled in well Erdogan loses city President Erdogan has lost control of Istanbul bankers inquiry role an investment banker was given the role of, as a consultant in an investigation into the uh, so they've given a banker to investigate banks so I wonder what's going to happen there. I wonder what the outcome is going to be well, we investigated ourselves and we found we've done nothing wrong. The Guardian. The Tory party is now a cult. Something wrong with your eyes? How the wink went out of fashion. Hunt piles pressure on Johnson over pol police visit. Uh, if Boris is refusing to answer questions, people are thinking just who are we going to get as PM? None of them are fit for purpose. Nye Bevan relatives dies after hospital blunder. Express. Top tips for hassle-free holidays. Scandal of 64,000 who died while waiting for social care. Called murder by the state. Pressure on Boris to come clean. Senior Tories call for leadership favourite to explain flat bus stop. Sheridan, my battle with alcohol, stress and sheer loneliness. I. Johnson urged to deal with domestic row. Supporters d demand full explanation after Tory frontrunner ducks questions about incident. Hunt says someone who wants to be PM should be prepared to provide answers on everything. Tory candidates warned that they could be toppled as PM after just one day by vote of no confidence. Neighbour who called officer to home of Johnson's girlfriend defends his actions. The, ch the show that changed TV forever returns. The Hills? Uh, breast implant cancer warning. Pal Paltrow marriage guidance is not for me. US calls for Iran talks armed strike not ruled out. World War Three is what they're pushing. One year after the nearing rescue, what are the Thai cave boys up to? Daily fail. The sleep revolution by expert who can guarantee you a good night's reset. Boris and girlfriend driven out of home. They can't return as flat is targeted by protest. Despite bust up, couple insist we are strong, stronger than ever. Guess who's back in the winning ways? Probably a parasite. Telegraph. Boris, I won't bottle Brexit. Three years since UK voted to leave? Three years! Tory frontrunner says future with lower tax and higher pay is within sight for the rich, but the poor are going to get shit on yet again. Foreign cannabis firms hope UK will relax law. 
If there's money to be made, you can bet they'll relax law. US world obliterate US would obliterate you, Trump tells Iran. Facebook secure secrecy a risk to children, says NSPCC. Um, get an early night for best chance of a, being a father. And Murray on the doubles win. Call for inquiry into mobile price fixing. You, what you mean? They're all corrupt. <gasps> well, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Mirror. Row over TV Emily's seat for dog on train. Race for number 10 shambles. Boris wants to get back with his wife. Wannabe PM yearning for Marina. Erratic private life is a security risk. The scum. Tory love drama. Boris and Carrie. Four rows in six weeks. Couple bust up revealed. Uh, Subo. I'm giving to going to have kids at 58. Ronnie. Hot up Mick is superhuman. I doubt that very much. Trisha, I'm finally having great sex. Great, but I didn't really want to know. Waste of paper. My drink hell, haunted house. It's a 30 degrees centigrade and rising blast of summer at last. Weather bomb, then heat wave. Yeah, well, I believe it when I see it because the chemtrails, they can get rid of it or make it happen. There is sex fury. Financial Times. Um, opposition set for big win in Istanbul return. Lloyds throws 8,000 accounts amid offshore dirty money at crackdown. UK team building quantum computer sets up in Silicon Valley to access cash. Johnson number 10 bid route runs into twin hurdles. And as we get to the last part. <clears throat> What is it, Doctor? A boy or a girl? We're not allowed to assume the gender anymore, but it definitely has a dick. And that's how ridiculous things have become. Hey there, do you know me? I think you're the father of one of my kids. Are you the stripper from the bachelor party that I made love to on the pool table with all my buddies watching while your partner whipped my butt with wet celery? No, I'm your son's teacher. Zombie apocalypse. What you think it looks like. What it actually looks like. <laughs>